Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, in this video, we've got some updated information about the contract DLC. A whole bunch of info dropped today, and there is a lot to discuss and talk about. So I want to go ahead and get right into it. But before we do, make sure you guys are subscribed, turn on notifications, ring the bell. If you enjoyed this video, let me know, drop a like, okay? A lot of stuff today to talk about, all right? Some of it's speculation, some of it's a little bit more than speculation, but I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about what we're talking about here, okay? So first up, this DLC is being heavily promoted by Rockstar, okay? Uh, this was tweeted out on DJ Pooh's Twitter account, and this is in Times Square right now, and they are promoting not the game, well, not just the game, but the DLC, they're promoting the actual DLC. They're buying billboard space and advert space in Times Square, okay? Sean Fontino, the the person who plays Franklin, accidentally leaked this artwork right here. And there is a lot in this, all right? And it is legit. He deleted it. He took it down. It's been confirmed. And there's a lot that we need to discuss uh, about this particular piece of artwork over here. First up, the weapon that Franklin is holding, this is the heavy rifle. This is based off of the FN SCAR, in particular the FN SCAR H, which is the heavy variant. It shoots a 762 by 51 uh, round. It's basically a 308, uh, and this thing could possibly be a, a game changer for the assault rifle class. Uh, in the weapons in GTA 5 Online. Most of the weapons uh, will drop you within 7 to 9 rounds depending on your range. It has a rate of fire of roughly 650 rounds. So if it deals a lot of damage, shoots pretty quick, I mean, this could be definitely a game changer. Think of the marksman rifle type damage, but shooting much faster, have a much uh, faster rate of fire. So that could be something that is, you know, substantial. So this has pretty much been confirmed. The top image is the old school HUD display. The middle image is what we should be getting now. This will be the actual icon of the weapon uh, that we should be getting. And then some of the attachments, a suppressor, scope, angled grip, uh, things like that, that are going to be with the weapon itself. And this was cut from the game because there was an issue with the animation of the characters holding the weapon, but I guess they fixed that. Next up is this particular image of this character right here. There's a lot going on with this. Who does this look like? Yes, Snoop D-O-double-G, the dog father himself, may be making an appearance in this game. He may be the antagonist and maybe a Suge Knight type kind of character, or it could be one of the good guys helping us out, all right? There's a few things in this image right here. First of all, it looks like possibly a new pistol. It looks like to be the automatic 9mm, which was in The Lost and the Damned. Uh, looks like a new chain. Looks like Death Row Records is what it resembles. And he's also wearing some kind of new body armor. It looks almost like a alligator skin, like a, I don't know, like a, a luxury designer body armor as well. This is what the image looks like. It's like a 1911, but it's called the automatic 9mm in the game. There is note on this, or something I do have to mention, uh, Tez did talk about this in the forum saying that there are, you know, there is artwork images and graphics. This has happened before where characters are holding weapons that we don't actually get in the game. So again, speculation. However, this could be another one of the new weapons that we're getting in this update. Another thing that was pointed out on the forums is this airplane in the background. And I didn't pick this up at first, but then I noticed it uh, after it was being talked about. And folks are thinking that this could be a possible drone. That is, that's insane. That could be, I'm not sure how I feel about that. That could be bad. Uh, think about like a flying orbital cannon, maybe. Uh, so that's in there and that's a possibility. So not so sure how I feel about that. Now, Rockstar did release this on their newswire. They're talking about the music that's coming out in the DLC, and there is a tremendous amount of new content in, in terms of music that's coming out, and a few other things as well that I'll mention and talk about and highlight. Uh, but there's a you know new station, uh, Moto Mommy, I guess is what's going to be coming out, hosted by Rosalia, which is pretty cool. And some of the new music coming out, there's going to be some tracks from huge stars out here. Hit Boy, Freddie Gibbs featuring Pusha T, Tia Corrine, uh Kenny Beats, Rich the Kid, Offset, Mosey featuring YG, uh, Sweetie, Future, Tyler the Creator, Kodak Black, and others. I mean, crazy. That is huge. Plus, something I was talking about with my crew members, uh, 
it looks like it's been confirmed there will be some scavenger hunt as well there. You'll be looking for some USB Circo Loco uh, music, kind of like what we did with uh, you know, the, the Tuners DLC, the auto shop where we had to find some of the USB drives with some music on there. So that's pretty cool. And look forward to some more information about that as well. In addition to that, we got some more information about something that I, I really kind of am hype about. It looks like there's going to be DJ Pooh on West Coast Classics will be having a Dre day, uh, be, you know, highlighting some of his music. And there'll be Collins from some of Dre's friends and collaborators, which could be Eminem. I'm thinking maybe Eminem calls in, has like a funny skit, and uh, maybe he's even in this DLC. Who knows, right? So that's pretty cool right there. And also, you can get a rare look into Dre's creative process at the new Record A studio. So we now know what the name is of the studio that will be in this DLC, Record A studio. So a bunch of speculation and predictions going on here. Some of it has been lightly confirmed. The artwork, the... Uh, the heavy rifle is definitely in there. That's been confirmed. Maybe maybe the pistol, right? One other thing I want to talk about is Tez mentioned this on the forums, and I 100% agree with him on this. He said this DLC would easily score the best DLC title if it adds gang territory system. The vibe of the DLC is set for something like this, excluding cops taking apart. Just gangs going at each other, maybe something like the reputation bonus for wearing LS car meat clothes, bonuses for chilling with each gang. And uh, that's something that could definitely be in this. And, you know, it's a long shot, but there's a possibility it might be because there has been, you know, in the newswire, we see there's, you know, some kind of interaction with the Vagos, the Balas, uh, who knows, right? But that would be something that'd be really cool, maybe even a part two, uh, if Rockstar listens and the community wants something like that. That would be awesome right there. So a lot of information today. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the weapons? What do you think about Snoop Dogg being here? What do you think about that plane in the background? Do you think we're getting some kind of drone? It might be tied into the armory. Uh, I have a strong prediction that the armory is going to be everything weaponized in this game. Uh, weapons, vehicles, you know, every, it'll be you know like a central hub for the weaponization of all things GTA Online. And then also there'll be additions, maybe something to do with the drone or some extra missions and they're involved uh, as well so pretty interesting stuff right there let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um just a few days left for uh you know you know get your money up and to uh you know get ready for this dlc it's turning out to be uh, a little bit bigger than what a lot of people expected it looks like there may be a lot of uh things that are you know involved with this so Keep the money grind going. However much money you have, it's not enough. It's never enough. Just keep on with the grind and try and maximize your time on there so you can really enjoy this DLC when it drops, okay? Uh, thank you all so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illust Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.